I want to reinforce the belief that I can be successful in English. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. That's great. Because I'm speaking in English now and I yeah. want to do speaking uh, engagements in yeah. English. And sometimes I'm, oh, I would not have the, the best, yeah. uh, the best English. How can so, I do to okay. so, build yeah. the best belief I can? <laughs> so, so uh, first of all, usually to, to do something like this, you, you build a belief system. It's not just a single belief. There's five basic beliefs. Okay. First is, I want it, right? It's important. Yeah. So, I mean, for example, you have to believe it's important to learn English because there's a lot of other things going on in your life. Yeah? And you could go, yeah, I want to, but, you know, it's number 25 on my list. Right? I can say you, I so, want it. <laughs> okay. The second is that it's possible. I have yes. to believe it's, it's possible to learn English. Okay. The third is that it's appropriate, meaning it fits for me, right? Because this is very interesting. Some people will go, yeah, well, it doesn't fit in my life or it doesn't, it's not. We, we, sometimes we say it's about it fitting, about it being ecological. Mm. Um, so does it fit for you? I think so. Okay. Ah, but I think so is not so much. Yeah, so that's going to be that's an interesting one. Okay, we'll come back to that in just a moment. Okay. The uh, the uh, fourth one yeah. is I'm I'm capable. I have the ability and I have the support. I think it's maybe here that I'm struggling. Okay. Because uh, I'm learning English, but yeah. it's slow. Okay. It's slow, so sometimes. So we'll come back to that one. So we had your. So we, we you go yes for sure. I want it for sure. It's possible. Maybe the fit. I think so. Uh, I'm struggling a little bit with I'm capable. The final one yeah. though, is I I deserve it. Uh, I merit it. I I'm worth it. Yes. Okay. Good. I like that. But also then, and I'm responsible to do it. It's it's yes. up to me. It's up to me. Okay. So those are the five. And you can already tell, even just by just by going over them, hmm, some are more strong than others. Yes. Now, the other thing we would do for these ones that are not so strong, uh, like you said, all right, I'm capable. Let's look at this one. And capable means I have the ability, but also the support. Right? I have the support that I need and I have the ability. Now, what you're going to do is, first of all, um, you know, when you think about it, this comes back to this notion of having your outcome, huh? your desired state, because it's abstract to say learn English. So one of the very first things you would want to do yes. is to have, since you already see it, I want it and it's possible, to have first a mental image of yourself. I have one. To see it. Okay? <laughs> I, I can see. And, and also, remember I was saying a somatic model. And what I mean by that is, and I'm going to ask you to, this is the thing, is if you... If you could speak English, yes, you know what would you know what would you how would you show it with your body? You know what would it be um, like, like that? Would it be like this? I mean, what? So if you could, I can see myself moving on the yeah. uh, on the stage. Yeah, on the and, stage. and show. I mean, if, if if you were speaking on the stage in English. What would you What would you look like? You don't even have to say the words, but what would you be? I think it's kind of flow, like, flow yeah, like this. Yes. Okay, so like this. Okay, so now you're gonna take that image. You're gonna take that feeling. You take that. You know this. The, of course, the statement of the goal. I can learn English. And now, as you see that, you're simply gonna say, "I am capable. I'm able to learn English." I am able to learn English. Okay. Now, check in here in your head. I say it again. I'm able to learn English. And you Lovely. know. Yeah, you can say it out loud. Or, okay. Yeah. I am able to learn English. Now, in your head right now, how much, I mean, you know you believe other things. So think of a few other things that you, you believe. How much, on a scale of zero to ten in your head, would you say it's ten? Or is it five? Is it six? Is it two? Seven. Seven. Yes. Okay. Now, here in your heart, you, you can say it again. I'm, I'm able to, to learn, learn English. You know, I mean, you know yourself that when you really believe in something, your heart is a big part of it. What is this resonance in your heart if it was zero to ten? Is it also seven? Is it more? Is it eight? It's eight. Yes. Okay. Third is going to be here. 
I, I, you know, people talk about it in my, I have a gut feeling, I know in my, so again, I am able to learn English. I am able to learn English. It's maybe less here. Yeah. Six maybe. It's interesting because I know that as you're saying it, this is one of the interesting things about being a coach on the outside. Yes. Your voice was very different. Yes. It was more flat. <laughs> I'm able to learn English <laughs> like okay. as opposed to so now let's say you go oh, so there's two ways there's two ways that you can uh, increase your belief okay and NLP offers two of them one is by changing around the, the way that you are experiencing it to yourself right so we call these things you know your, the, the representational systems pictures the words, the feeling, but part, there's also the quality of those that we call sub-modalities. Yes. For example, you see that in the picture in your mind that you see of yourself. Yes. How, how close is it? How big is it? Uh, is it color? Is it moving? Color, moving, maybe size like that. Yeah. Um, the distance is one meter, one meter. Yeah. Um, I'll notice just I for, can just see for myself. A yeah. For I, a moment, if you brought it closer, bring it to a half a meter. Okay. I'd say I'm capable. I am capable. To, to, to do that. To learn. <laughs> I, yes, I'm capable. What happens? Oh, it's here, 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 here. What do you. Um, I, feel, I felt immediately different here. here. Yeah. Uh, the first one, then maybe. More here, yeah, and I can feel now. Now something more here. Yes, a difference here. So, so notice. Yes, this is the magic of neurolinguistic programming. We all have this capability. Nobody teaches us that at school. Yes, nobody even teaches us that in transformational seminars. That hey, you are in charge. You know, it's the way that your nervous system. It, this is what I'm calling about the filters, huh? This is this. It, this was this quantum possibility. Yeah, a possibility yes. for you. To be able to speak English very very well, huh? it's right now it's out there in that world of quantum possibility. To bring it here, you're gonna you adjust your these filters, and a, I believe me, a lot of learning anything, but especially learning language is not a conscious cognitive study. It's like a child. Child doesn't learn a language by looking in books, right? You emotional you, you absorb it, yeah. So. So, but my point is, by adjusting the way that you're thinking about it, yes, shoom, it already makes a difference. Yes. Now, now we could, we'll, we can also look at a couple of other things. You could go directly to the feeling here. When, for example, down here in in, in your stomach, when you were saying mm, it's less, maybe it's less than seven. How do you know it's less than seven? I mean, what do, do you feel something there? Do you feel a tightness? Uh, is there a temperature? I mean, really, when okay. you're thinking, I don't, I'm not so sure. What does that feel like? It may be kind of a pressure. A pressure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were able to just for a moment, yes, take a breath and lighten that pressure. And then say, I'm capable to learn English. I'm capable to learn English. <laughs> <laughs> it's, make, it, it's, it's making a difference. It's making a difference. Yes. That's the notion. I mean, just the, what you're experiencing right now is the reality of neuro linguistic programming. Great. Right? Right. So, boom. And, and what's going to be interesting is, and this is the idea of belief. Remember, we said belief isn't the same as the capability, but it opens that door and because if I'm sitting there going, okay, I'm going to try to learn English. Okay, you start to feel it. Yeah. So now I start to feel it. Now here's the other, another strategy. Okay. So we said I can, <laughs> I can adjust my own inner experience, but we can also use role models and mentors, right? So remember we talked about modeling. Yes. So, so here's a, here would be very, just a very simple example of this. Yes. Um, if you were you have to do it after <laughs> yes so if you think about your heart you know your head your heart your belly okay who is somebody that you really well, well first of all 
if you were going to have, if you were going to go from say seven or eight to nine or 10, what resource would you need to have in the head or the heart or the belly? I mean, what would have to be there for you to go 10? Would it be confidence? Would it be enthusiasm? Yes. Would it be, you know, I mean, that's what I mean by, by a resource. I mean, something inner. Would it be if I had more confidence, if I had It's more, a kind of a power, self-confidence, but maybe I yeah. represent that with power. Yeah. So kind of a personal power. Yes, personal power. Now, who would be your role model or your mentor for that kind of personal power and that kind of confidence? Who do you know? I mean, you've interviewed hundreds of people, so I'm sure that you probably met somebody that has that exactly that kind of confidence and personal power that you would need to be able to get learning English. Who would that? Um, it's not someone I interviewed. Uh, okay, uh, but I have a lot of people in, sure, like, sure. during my, in yeah, my but, interviews. But um, it doesn't have to be someone you're interviewing. I have before. two. Pe I have two yeah. people. A French one who is uh, who yeah. is Usama. Amar is a French, but he, I love the way he speaks English. Yeah. And the other one, you know him, it's Tony Robbins. Tony so Robbins. The, the way he speaks uh, and absolutely. Uh, the confidence he has yeah. about his personal power. So uh, Okay. <laughs> so we're going to take both of these guys. Yes. So what's the name of the first guy? Usama. Usama. Ama. Ama. Usama yes. Ama. So right now, if you were going to have uh, Usama Ama around you, to, to support you. Remember I said it's about capability and support. Where would you experience his presence? I mean, would it be to your right, to your left, behind you, in front of you? Here. Right there. And where would Tony be? Maybe here. There. Now, for just a moment, remember we were talking about this idea of quickly modeling. Yes. If you just put yourself into Osama Ama for just a moment, and okay. you're looking at yourself, okay, <laughs> like he, through his eyes, okay. What would be his message to you? Now you're him. What is your message to David? David's going, eh, I want to learn English. But what is your and you're his uh, role model and his mentor? What would be your message? Which might be in yeah. words, it might just be a. I have the message. Yeah, practice. <laughs> practice. <laughs> yes, practice. Practice. And uh, also. Just go in the USA and speak. Just go and speak. Practice, go and speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you take that message, now come back to yourself. And you're going to take that message in your head, yes. in your heart, in your belly. Practice. And just go and do it. And really, and you feel his presence and you feel that message in your head, in your heart, in your belly. And I want now say again. I am capable to learn English. <laughs> I am capable <laughs> to learn English. <laughs> and they'll notice, I even see when you say that, it's your breath afterwards that even, I mean, as, a, as an NLP person and as a coach, I just I can see your nervous system processing that really differently right now than when you started. <laughs> now we're going to add, now we're going to really add more here. So let's take Tony. Yes, Tony. So for just a moment. Okay. You, you know, again, kind of leave yourself, put yourself in Tony's eyes. Here he is, and you're looking at yourself as he is, like he's in front of you, but now you're him looking at you. So you're Tony taking on his belief, his experience, you know, you're in him. And uh, what is your message as Tony to David? I call it speed modeling. <laughs> so you're Tony now. And you have this message for David. What would you say to David? Yes, I have two two messages. Um, mm -hmm. Take take risks. So I, maybe I yeah. mean for me to do speeches yeah. Yeah, in English, course. not only to go in the USA, but to speak, speak. directly speak English yeah. and the other things to uh, build an English environment. Ah, yeah. yes. Build an to, uh, to have more English entrepreneurs. Yeah, great. Now, before you leave Tony, I want the one other thing I want you to do is, if if you as you are in Tony and yes. you experience him, what do you experience most about the difference between being in his body and his nervous system with that sense of power and confidence than yours when you're trying to learn English? I mean, I'm sure you have confidence in a lot of other areas, but what do you notice and where do you experience it as Tony? 
And we're, this is where we're talking about modeling somebody really quickly. The main difference, it was not about, it's more, more about my mental. Yeah. So it was the, fe the feeling that nothing is impossible. Great. So. And, and exactly, just for a moment. Yes. What is that? Because you said it's a feeling. So a little bit, we'll go a little bit more deeply into that feeling. If you're Tony, wh where and how do you have this feeling? You, it's, you said it's in the head, it's kind of more mental, but how do you experience it? Is it is, because this it's is again a fl flow in yeah. all the yeah all this part of my body. Yeah. Yes. Just a move. <laughs> yeah. Just this a, a quality of movement. Yeah. Yes. Great. Now this now the other thing is another big part of NLP is anchoring, right? Yes. So, but first of all, keep yourself in Tony. <laughs> it's not a small and example. Find your anchor. <laughs> find your anchor. Okay. And an anchor would be either a, a movement or an image, something that allows you that goes, I can get access to this right now, right away. As soon as I do it, I see you breathing. But if you were going to make a movement or a gesture or a touch of yourself somewhere, what would you do to anchor this feeling of everything is possible? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have one anchor we studied yeah. uh, because I I met him uh, in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> he's a he's a great guy. He's a great, yeah. great guy. So now come back to yourself. Okay. <laughs> now you're gonna go. All right. You take his message. Yes. His message I was take risks. His message was build an English environment. But you're also <laughs> taking that feeling. Yes. And you're gonna go. I can learn English. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm capable. I am capable. I am capable. Now check your head, your heart, your belly. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. <laughs> I will pitch you to my next pitch. Uh, <laughs> okay. In California. All right. It's a deal. It's a deal. It's a yeah. Deal. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, huge example. <laughs>